Yeah, hi, this is Christina Marie Downstone. I was trying to contact YouTube and went on email for uh, today. I think it's the 29th of July, 2019. And just in reflection, stating, you know, uh, 2011, Dan Fritz had a reunion. I think it was the 25 year reunion, Ward Melville High School, graduating class 1986. And I just rethought about it after going and doing a lengthy Facebook on there. You know, why, why did they even invite me? Um, I mean, I had a hip injury in 1981. I, I would barely be able to walk. And, I, I mean, I even did a referral. I said, you know, you know, the nurse over there, I mean, it's really nice, you know, worrying about the elevator. But, I mean, did they ever think about referring, you know, parents or children to attorneys? You know what I mean? Maybe they would be able to got a uh, Social Security uh, disability claim 1981. You know, because it, it really is horrible. Then I think later on, I think Ed Kitty took uh, my dad's golf cart course. Uh, I think the driver, what is it? The uh, One of the golf clubs or something took the golf club and spliced the side of my hip and then uh, it ricocheted somehow on uh, James Lynch's dad's windshield, you know, over at uh, 60 Lane and he used to talk it. I mean, it was, a, it was like a teenage thing, you know what I mean? Like, what are you doing with him? I'm not. Anyway... So uh, I was just wondering, you know, in Lake Grove, New York, if this is live on YouTube, in December 1986, I graduated with Regents on the uh, General Equivalency Diploma. So I don't know if other people were working full time and they had other uh, agendas and they were somehow on their school record. It stated they were failures and they're not. You know, they, they keep saying that, you know what, you know, let me look at your school record. I say it really wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter what the school record is. Maybe those are the people that are intrusive and get reported to Department of Education, the uh, faculty members of the teachers and the principals and stuff like that. Maybe that's what that is. Um, at any rate, I just wanted to know. I remember one person said they were at Sagem. All right, so I don't know. You know, I mean, if the 25-year reunion was in 19 uh, in 2011. You know, in 2021, the 35-year reunion. I don't even know who these people are. I don't need no. If all of them were in the Three Village School District, I don't think so. I think they were from different locations within Suffolk County. And like I said, I'd like to know. You know, my number's 516, I mean, 631-384-6207. You know, who else, you know, graduated early, had a full-time job, was a business owner, you know, uh, maybe they uh, had a family, you know, maybe they got married, maybe they got pregnant. I mean, all those kinds of things. Uh, I really didn't associate with too many people at Ward Melville High School, if ever. I just worked full-time. So I don't even know. I, I think I went there and I had uh, ice water after I paid, you know, all the drinks and food you could eat. I didn't eat anything. I didn't drink anything other than ice water. So I just, you know, I, I just thought about that. I don't know who those people were. But it was the elementary school. If you go on Middle Country Road, right, or uh, 347, let's say 347, the Stony Brook Diner over there near uh, the Red Lobster, you know, uh, and you make a uh, left heading southbound, you're on Richard Lane. All right, you keep going straight over that. The fire department's on the right-hand side. Keep going straight past 7-Eleven. Keep going straight over there. Then you're heading towards Lake Grove, all right? As soon as you get past the town of Lake Grove with 7-Eleven, the town municipals, you keep going straight. And it's probably about maybe a half a mile before you get to, um, I think, Horse Block Road. It's way before Horse Block Road. And, uh, I mean, I thought it was an excellent test, you know what I mean? Uh, it just, uh, you know, my academics and what I was interested in, it really wasn't, uh, you know, food, all right? So, I mean, I mean, it's really hard to, you know, distribute that, you know, and then think about, you know, how little I, I want to work in a kitchen, and I don't. Uh, you know, I mean, these people were probably sitting there, I mean, uh, I have no idea since 1989, you know, what happened to your student with, uh, you know, did she want to be a dietitian? No. But you know, anytime someone smashes into my motor vehicle and you get prescription drugs or something, you might forget, you know, you already worked and you're retired and you're disabled. And they're not my children, the teacher and faculty members there. They might forget that. So if you could, give me a call. I want to find out what, uh, if anybody ever offered that, you know, uh, in Lake Grove, New York, to the people that offered that in the school system individually, because I got a referral to BOCES, New York, I didn't go to Bolsey's. I went there and I think I picked up a book and I paid for it or ordered it or something from Patchogue, New York. And that was, uh, I think, right around uh, September of 1986. And, uh, you know, December of 1986, 
would be uh, 1987. So when I went in and readmitted myself to, uh, you know, the class of 1987, I realized my full-time job, you know, as a cook, prep cook, working in the kitchen in the area in Satork at Stony Brook area, I probably wouldn't have been able to make most of the classes. So, and then I, I look at it, you know, what, what's the call for that? You know, uh, you know, not recognizing someone's physical disability, even recognizing an attorney, or uh, do, having any type of physical rehabilitation, you know, about 12 or 13 years old. You know, and, uh, you know, that's not truant, that's not insubordinate, you know, you just have to look back, you know, if uh, you have a real serious, uh, you know, accident, you know, contusion stitches, you know, you're limping, you know what I mean? It might not be mental illness, you know what I mean? You, you, you really might want to look at that, you know, so people stay, uh, you know, alive longer. You know, I, I don't see how anybody would sit there, uh, you know, saying, you know, I want to look at your wig. Uh, I, I really just don't get it. Even if I didn't have any, uh, you know, physical disability. So, uh, you know, if you could... I'm on CICIDreamer at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. You know what I mean? I don't know who I know in Ron Con I mean, Lake Grove, if anybody. I think there was a guy in 2001 that cleaned his house with Ed Guinea. You know, I don't know if he's still on uh, drugs like the majority of people. You know, a doctor illegally or whatever. So, uh, at any rate, you know, that's true. You know, people are ashamed of that. But, you know, I think they've been around since aspirin, since like 1854. And they, they keep saying, how long have you been clean? Uh, you know, it, it's very difficult to say how long you've been clean if people push psychiatric drugs to people who didn't need it, and then they'd follow you around with their family you're not related to. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I don't know what it is. I really don't. I have never seen people like that before. Steal cameras, steal people's pictures of their children, you know, plan elaborate funerals of them. I wonder if somebody else, you know, had that experience. You know, I'd love to talk about it, you know, outside of daytime drama TV or, you know, on radio or something or the internet. You know, where would you go? Would you go to the Watermill Inn? Would you go to the Colorado Steakhouse rolling on? Where, where would you go? Would you book a uh, travel excursion and say, you know, all right, let's, let's all bring our... Uh, General equivalency diploma, prove who we are. Say, oh, there's my driver's license, my birth certificate. So they say some mentally ill person, terrorist from a different country, doesn't smash into it, a drone, or kill your your family or something, and then talk to a pet their whole life. Then try to say, you know, it's continuing education internationally to listen to you talk. You know, and then like I said, you got these other people that are so into performing arts, man. They're like, you know, some drone, some some psycho person. You know, I, I mean, really. Is that like the new quota? Updated from, did you have enough freaking traffic tickets with the police from the 50s? So I don't know if that's a new updated thing with performing arts. Are they making that quota? I don't know. But, uh, you know, it, I, I'm really, uh, you know, seeing if there's anybody out there. You know what I mean? They might be grandparents, stuff like that. See if they got away from their parents. So I'm, I'm 51. A lot of people are about my age, 50, 51, maybe 52. See if they're still living with the 75, 85-year-olds. You know what I mean? They ask them where you're going, thinking you're like 10 or 11 years old or something. You're fully grown by now. You know what I mean? You're almost through uh, at menopause. Right? So take it easy. Enjoy your YouTube. And this is, like I said, it says teenagers on there. But, uh, you know, there's some cemeteries that are, like, from the 1850s. So I don't know if that's when the 18-year-old is dating the 50-year-old or something like that. I really looked at that, you know, how, how a donkey would talk to himself or something. Then say, you know, uh, the Mueller Project is representing the donkeys and they talk to a donkey all day long. I mean, it, it, it is ridiculous, right? You know, what, what teenager, the 13-year-old brain donkey? You know, I really think about that. You know, on communication devices with nothing illegal on just the effect of communication. So I don't know who would complain. The person that doing illegal activity? You don't have to listen to them. 